Hello everyone, I'm Isha Dua. I'm a senior solutions architect here at AWS, and I work with customers to understand their business challenges and identify how AWS can be leveraged to achieve their strategic goals. In this video today, we will talk about three new text-to-image models from Stability AI in Amazon Bedrock. The models that we will be talking about are Stable Image Ultra, Stable Diffusion 3 Large, and Stable Image Core. These models greatly improve performance in multi-subject prompting, image quality, and typography, and can be used to rapidly generate high-quality visuals for a wide range of use cases across different industry verticals, some of them being marketing, advertising, media and entertainment, gaming, retail, education, and more. Now, let's move over to the demo. So for the demo, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your AWS Management Console. Once you're in the AWS Management Console, you can use the search bar on the top to look for the service Amazon Bedrock. Click on Amazon Bedrock. Once you're on the Bedrock Console, as you see right now, go on to the left navigational bar and click on Base Models. Once you see this screen where you see all the base models, look for provider equals stability AI, and that's going to show you the models available from stability AI. You'll see all the models that we previously talked about, Stable Image Core 1.0, ST3 Large 1.0, and Stable Image Ultra 1.0. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to be using Stable Image Ultra 1.0. So click on the model and open it in the playground. Now, you can see that a playground has opened up for you where you can access this model. You'll see a text box here on the bottom where you're going to type in a text prompt. So let's use this prompt. A whimsical underwater tea party with a diverse group of marine animals. There's a sophisticated octopus serving tea to a turtle. There's a school of colorful fish floating around. They're holding tiny pastries. The scene is illuminated by shimmering sunlight filtering through the water. There's also ocean tea party text on the top. On the right side, you will see various inference parameters. For now, we'll leave them at their default values, but feel free to experiment with these later. Once you're happy with your prompt, click the Run button. The model is now processing your request, and it's going to take a few seconds to generate the image for you. As you can see, uh, the generated image is now showing up in your results area. You can download the image uh, using the Download button right here. As you can see, the model has done pretty well with image quality, overall visual fidelity, and aesthetic appeal of the generated image. It was adhering to the prompt that we provided. It's good at multi-subject prompting because it was able to render the different elements in the image as we had requested. The lighting is coming through well, and the text on top looks good too. So you have the ability to replicate this with other models in the playground as well. Now let's move over to another demo where we see how we can access these models via a notebook environment. So now let's examine a notebook where we're going to invoke these models to generate images for an advertising campaign. This is the notebook. I've used SageMaker Studio for this demonstration. For the purposes of this demo, I have pre-run this notebook in my SageMaker Studio Jupyter Lab environment. This notebook showcases how to produce a series of images using LLM refined prompts for a brand called Young Generational Shoes or YGS, ensuring brand consistency and message effectiveness. Let's look at the initial setup. So we set up our virtual environment and install the required packages. Then we also define some key basic functions such as text to image, image to image, and other utility functions. We then also instantiate the model ID. As you can see that the model ID here is stability.stableImageUltra version 1.0. And we also generate a directory where we're going to be storing the output images. As I had mentioned before, there are some basic functions that we have defined, called, like text to image, image to image, the Claude function that we are using. Now, for the concept generation bit, let's start looking at what the demo is doing. Here, we are prompting Anthropic Claude 3 Sonnet 
to generate some advertising concepts. We are providing a prompt where we tell the model our goals, our target demographic, uh, the product information, and the desired format for the campaign descriptions. Uh, for example, as you can see, that we tell the model that, you know, ma make sure that the format is of this kind, that it has a concept, it has a description, and it has a scenario. And the model produces an idea for each type of shoe that we have. For example, it produces a concept and idea for a running shoe. It produces the same for a soccer shoe, a training shoe, a hiking shoe, and a tennis shoe. So all of these are concepts that the large language model or Claude 3 Sonnet has generated for us. In the next step, we ask Claude to use the concepts that it has generated and produce new prompts for our Stable Image Ultra 1.0 model. When it generates these prompts for our image model, these are what the prompts are going to look like. For example, for the running shoe, it produces a prompt where it talks about generating an image that is highly detailed, photorealistic, has vibrant colors, has a breathable upper mesh, the runner is on city streets, and at a crisp morning, there's the logo YGS on the shoe. And this is just one example of a prompt for a running shoe, but you would see similar prompts being generated for the soccer shoe, for the training, hiking, as well as the tennis shoes. Once we are done generating the prompts, we then pass these prompts into the image model, which is Stable Image Ultra version 1.0, and it generates uh, these advertisement posters, which are stored in our pre-created folder. This was our pre-created folder, and it has already generated those images for us, and I'll show you those images. Let's look at the running shoes that we were talking about. If we go back to the prompt, we see that it asks the model to produce an image that's highly detailed, photorealistic. It has um, you know, vibrant colors. It has striking neon accents. And this is the image that it generated for that prompt, which you can see is very similar to the prompt that we had defined. Let's look at another example. For example, a pair of rugged hiking shoes. And you can see that an image for the hiking shoe has been generated. You can see the stream as well. You can see vibrant colors on the shoe. And with that, uh, this will conclude our demo. By leveraging these new model capabilities, organizations can now tackle real world business use cases more effectively and more cost effectively with less physical prototyping. Whether it's concept art, storyboarding, advertising campaigns, content creation, the possibilities here are endless and extensive. Have fun experimenting with these image models and thank you all for your attention today.